Here we have some data and we have images associated with the data. And I'm going to show you how to make a form, click on this tab here, that allows you to select the state and then it will give you bring the data in and also bring an image in. Now it's not that hard to bring the data in, but you may not know how to bring the image in. So let's start with making a pull down menu for where you will select the state. So we click here beside the label, go to the data tab, and then data validation here in the data tools. And we want to get a list and then I just select the states and I'm just using a little bit of my data here for the purpose of illustration. So say OK. And then that puts this list here as a pull down menu. I already brought in the county name and the description based on what state is selected here. And I used XLOOKUP to do that. Now what we want to do is have the image also come in and display on this page. And of course you'd want to format it a little bit nicer than this, but this video is not about formatting. It's about how to bring these images in. So here on the data page, you need the images to be in the same row as the data and make sure that they fit inside the cell. See how that image doesn't touch the lines? So make sure each one of them fits. And I'm just using a little bit of my data here to make it simpler. And if you have something else that's kind of standard images, you might want to line them up so when they come in it's all going to be uniform. But these pictures are they're not all the same anyway. They're different shapes. So I think we're good. Now essentially what you want is a X lookup that will bring in the cell of the picture. But Excel won't let you do an X lookup to a link to an image, which is what you would need to do. So we're going to use we're going to define a formula and use the name manager. So you go to the formula bar, the formula menu, and we are going to create a name. Oh, and I already did, but let me do it over uh, to show you. So give it a name and make it something simple. I'm going to call this image two because I already made one called image. And then you put the formula here. And it's the XLOOKUP formula that you normally would use if that weren't an image. So XLOOKUP and we want it to match what's been pulled down in that pull down menu. And where do you want to match it? You want We're matching on the state, so you want to match it there. And see, it automatically puts the dollar signs for you. And then comma, and you got to make sure you get the cells here. Took an extra one because I couldn't get a hold of it. But it's A2 to A6. It wouldn't matter if we had the extra. And we'll close it off. And that's image 2 is the name of that formula. Now what you want to do is copy any one of these cells. Not the image, but the cell itself. Because we want to paste a linked cell. And then we're going to make it dynamic. So copy a cell. Make sure you got the whole cell. Not the image. And then go over here and wherever you want it to be, we can move it afterwards. Uh, we're going to paste special. So go to home and you paste special right here, which is you, a linked picture. So it's, it's pasting what's linked in that cell. And it's on my sample tab, A2. But here we want to change this because we want it to be dynamic. We want to change it to our formula image 2. And now it's dynamic because image 2 is that VLOOKUP into the pictures. So if we pull this down, Georgia, there's the spider gorget from Georgia, see Illinois. 
and there you go it's dynamic and then as I said you'd want to format this but you can move this stuff around make it pretty take the grid lines off you know make it nice there you go